Apex 19.2 brings some new exciting features, which make life of a developer easier. Today we will talk about one of those features, which is REST-enabled interactive grid. Last Apex version 19.1 allowed creating forms and reports on REST-enabled SQL data source, and 19.2 takes it to the next level and allows creating interactive grid, LOVs etc. using REST-enabled SQL data source. So, what is REST-enabled SQL? The REST-enabled SQL service is HTTPS web service that provides access to the Oracle database SQL engine. You can post SQL statements to the service. The service then runs the SQL statements against Oracle database and returns the result to the client in a JSON format. By using this in Apex, you can connect one Oracle database to another, which is running on either the same or different servers, and build Apex application, the same way you create it for the database, where Apex is installed. You should be running ORDS 17.3, or later to use REST-enabled SQL service. You should add following line in defaults.xml file of ORDS and bounce it. We have two different workspaces on two different servers. One is called demo HR, whereas the other one is called demo sales. We will create an interactive grid in demo sales workspace and use the data in demo HR, which is at gray.maxapex.net server, whereas demo sales is at black.maxapex.net. To begin, we need to enable REST enabled SQL in demo HR schema. We will go to SQL command and run the ORDS.enable schema statement. Demo HR is now ready to be used with REST enabled SQL. We will now move to the other server black.maxapex.net and log on to demo sales workspace. Go to our application where we want to create the REST enabled interactive grid. Open Shared Components. Go to REST Enabled SQL under Data Sources Region. Create a new one. Give it any name you like. Endpoint URL is important. It should be Apex or Lords URL, slash and then schema name. In our case it would be https colon slash slash gray.maxapex.net slash apex slash demo hr. Click Next. Give any name to credentials. In client ID, give username of the target schema. In our case it is demo HR. In client secret, give its password and click create. REST enabled SQL service is created successfully. Now we will start creating the interactive grid based on this REST-enabled SQL data source. Let's create a new page. Select Reports then Interactive Grid. Give page a name and click on Next button. Now click on REST-enabled SQL service tab and select the service we have just created. You can now see the tables of demo HR schema at gray.maxapex.net when you are connected to demo sales at black.maxapex.net server. Select the table you want to create interactive grid on. Let's run the page. Wow! You can now see the data at other server in your interactive grid. You can not only view it but edit it, and it will be updated instantly on the other server. Let's edit the salary of King currently it is 24,000. Let's make it 30,000. Save, and check at demohr at gray.maxapex.net if it is updated or not. Refresh the table at demo HR, you can see it is also updated. That's all for now. 
Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.